Today I want to talk to you about how to analyze a marketing campaign. This might be a little long, but it's important you get this. But let me we have, and I want to use a live example. We're working with a client of ours who's in the jewelry space. Um, the client is called, it's called Carbon Drops. Please go take a look at it, www.carbondrops.com. Uh, they're an online platform, amazing, uh, amazing founders. But I'll tell you what, one of the campaigns we are running with them. So I'll give you the idea, the concept, every campaign that you do should be have a couple of things there, right? The campaign should have a concept, right? Let's go check. And as I'm talking, maybe these are things to look at what you're doing at your end. The campaign that we're running with them, it's called a campaign called Just Engage, which is meant for uh, couples who are just engaged. The campaign is focused on those couples. Second thing that you do is be clear your audience is. And along with the audience, what is the objective of that audience in that campaign? When they look at the campaign, aapka expectation kya hai? What should they be? What should they get out of that? Right? So, our ob obvious audience is a man and a woman, both, because 25 to 35 years, that's what's been defined. And each of them has a different objective. The man has an objective of kind of looking at, you know, gifting it to, a, um, to his fiance. But the woman, since they're in the jewelry space, the woman's objective is pretty much to buy for herself. So the pitch is done. So the point is this pitching to a man is one route. Pitching to a woman is a separate route. So you cannot confuse using the same bit for both. So whatever you do, you have two sets, one for the man, one for the woman. If you want to say that's how the focus should be. Cannot combine them together. If you do that, rework the campaign. So that's number one analysis. Is the concept right? Maybe yes. Is the audience right and is the right objective achieved? Having done that, what is the source to reach out to the campaign? This source based on price points and whatever decided was say, okay, we're going to use Facebook. Facebook, two options we said, okay, based on the budget we had, the source was determined. We said lead form and a traffic generator. If you don't know what it is, please, I urge you to go do this on Facebook. Lead form is where you have a form where you, where you talk about the concept and in there you capture their email and phone number and stuff so you can get back. The objective of the lead form, so two lead forms, one for the man, one for the woman. That's how we look at it. That's one route. The second route is what we call a traffic generator, which is exactly like the lead form. But after seeing that stuff, you don't enter the details. You click on that part or a link which takes you to a landing page. So these are two different options in which leads can be generated. Now, when you start analyzing the campaign, you don't know what's going to work or not work. So you test, you spend your budgets between this and this and test it. What do you analyze when you look at the lead form? First thing you really, really analyze that you're going to do when you look at the lead form is you know, is the lead form, if it is, if you're not getting, when you look at your Facebook analytics, you're going to track the cost per lead. So start cost per lead for the lead form, cost per lead for the traffic generator. If you are the cost per lead, suppose you get, example, the response is 35 leads. Now, and you're saying the lead cost is 10 rupees a lead or 50 rupees a lead. You're trying to start analyzing. Number, first thing is, if you don't get enough leads, what's the challenge? Number one, if you don't get enough leads, you got to look at the image that you have in the form. You got to look at the text. And you got to look at the offer. Fundamentals. But this is where most people miss it. All three need to be looked at properly and keep tweaking that because that will help you get more leads. Number two is if you have leads but the cost per lead is high, again you got to rework your campaigns because all these three need to get re-looked at. So what you're looking at is, okay, this is the one way you have run. This is my number of leads that I got out of the lead form and this is the cost that I have spending on it. And when I run this campaign, which is a traffic generator, I've got say 25 leads. Okay, now this is very different. So you start evaluating what's good or bad. Fundamentally, I say like that somewhere I've got 35 leads is good. But here, in this case, I've got a form, I've got an email, I've got their phone number. So either I have to send them an email and then wait for what will happen. But eventually what you want is these guys to go and buy from their e-commerce site. So the point is, this is only a lead. Right here, you get a lead, you take them directly to the landing page. Now what's going to happen is they have gone on the landing page, right? So you're able to track things differently. Did they buy will happen from here. Here you have to wait one more step. Although you get the number here, you don't get the number here. You take them to the landing page. So it's important to evaluate when you're analyzing what's really happening. When you build a landing page, a landing page which is focused on just engaged as a concept, you have built it. You don't take them to any page on your portal. Don't shortcut it. You got to have a landing page. This cube is specialized. It is focused. That landing page is a concept driven page. For a man, it's a different thing. For a woman, it's a different page. Once you build that, when somebody comes on the landing page from this traffic generator, what do you do next? 
what do you do next really you have to wait and wonder why is the person not buying or is buying since if he's come on this page directly from a traffic generator which is a link you do not have his name you do not have his detail so what's the way to capture you put a pop-up form which comes up on the site the pop-up form capture says okay please give us your name and number because you're going to give you a promo code that's going to be there so once the name and the number is captured the promo code gets showed right there and then so it's important that you've then at this step captured it now you still got to go and look at the analytics go look at it saying okay how much time is that person spending on the page? You realize they spent two minutes on the page, but nothing is happening. They're not buying. So where is the challenge? You got to go validate the design. You got to validate the pop-up page and you validate the product itself. The point is two multiple validations have happened here. Understand what we have done. We have validated concept all the way till execution. End of it. You know, so point is there is not one thing. People say that it's not going to is it a concept which is a challenge the audience is the challenge the source where you're trying to run it is that the challenge or the end product which is end result which is a landing page is that a challenge every single thing can be broken down once you know that start tweaking it people quit too fast they think it doesn't work what doesn't work break the problem and break the problem down piece by piece eat the elephant one bit at a time so eat one step at a time rework it stay focused don't spend 5000 rupees together you know spend instead you know 1000 rupees five times and start changing you cannot have everything change at the same time you will never know ki kya chal rahe. keep some parameters fixed and start tweaking top down and see where you get the results if you need to know more about how analyzing your campaigns let us know we would love to be of help you know i think this is something that we specialize in we would love to help you achieve your marketing objectives so go make it happen for yourself or talk to us and we can help you thank you